What's up, everybody? Today, we're playing a game called Drowning Drowning by Nom Nom Nami. And music by Camila's Rainbow? Uh, Nom Nom Nami, she's made a lot of different uh, games, such as uh, Lonely Wolf Treat, I think is her most famous one. And uh, I think it's like Ultimate Syrup or something. Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, I thought I'd uh, play this one. Uh, this one's brand new, so yeah, let's uh, jump right into it, shall we? Uh, let's see. So it's a Maiden RPG Maker, so just click New Game and let's get right into it. Please choose a window setting. Dark. Is this setting okay? Uh, sure, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Looks pretty nice. My sandals. Uh, okay, let's talk. You're a human, right? Hey, I knew it. My name's Am Amphi Amphidio. Am Amphi I cannot pronounce this at all. Amphidio. You could just call me Am, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm Maya. Maya, look at me, I made a human friend. Come swim, Maya, it's fun. I can't, I'll drown. Oh. Then I guess we can't play together. That's a real bummer. Okay, well. Time to go home. My sandals. All right, I guess I have to go deeper in the water with her. Dive in. Wow, you really dove in. You want to play that badly, huh? Don't worry, Maya. I'll help you breathe. Oh, she gives her a kawaii kiss. I didn't drown. This is your very first time in the ocean, huh? What should we play together? Oh, I know. Hide and seek. Okay, well... Seashells collected one. Okay, so we have a little bit of a side objective here. Try to collect all these sea seashells. I can't. Seashells, seashells by the seashore. Ugh, God. I don't know why I'm doing that. Anyway. Um, now, does this loop? I think it does. Is this some, like, Yume Nikki stuff right here? It seems like it is looping, so. I wonder if this. Actually, this. Kind of reminds me of Yuminiki. Like, I mean, not because it's an RPG Maker game, but if this is how the style is, of just wandering around and finding out where to go. Yeah! Oh, she's stuck in the. Hi, Maya. I got all tangled up. Help her out? Yeah, of course we gotta help her out. Thanks, Maya. Congrats on finding me, too. I forgot we were playing. That's okay. Follow me and I'll show you where I live. Maya's just like, why am, am, am I on... What am I doing? <laughs> Wait, I want to find more seashells. And if there's anything else here... Are they, like, well hidden? If they're well hidden, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna miss them. Whoa, look at this place. What's this crab? I'm walking here! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Octopus. How about it? Have you ever seen a guy as impressive as mine? Thanks for the seashell. I appreciate it. Wait, does he see more than that? Of course not. There weren't thirty <laughs> there weren't thirty lines of dialogue with that uh with that octopus, so uh this game is a zero out of five um, immediately. Uh a small tiara? What the? Can I equip it? Too small for a human. A sardine could wear this, but not me. Okay. Di Diamine? I cannot pronounce these names. I'm sorry. Oh, she looks cute. Hey, yo, you like seashells. I think they're so pretty. Wow, you brought me some? Thanks. I'll put them on display. Ah, I see. Okay, so I should bring her all the seashells. 
Instead of dirt or sand, the plant is settled in a colorful glass shard. It's pretty. Uh, Di Diamene's bed? It's lined with tiny seashells. I should probably um, go examine everything in that octopus's house as well. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess there's not much to explore there. I gotta say, I really like the cute art style. It's, uh, it's very nice. Oh, this is her house. We should probably go there last, just to make sure we... Nice, four of those. Are you friends with Am? She's so fun, I'm jealous. Wait, can I use my, uh... Well, I wanted to give the sardine that, but... Cleo. No. Oh. The chest contained Seal's Diary, Monday, Kelp Wraps. Tuesday, clam and eggs. Wednesday, warm bowl? Ew. <laughs> Thursday, red algae salad. And meal planner. Each day goes on like this. Okay. A stockpile of food, medicine, tools, and for some reason, one sandal? This is probably where Silo sleeps. The bedding is very tidy. A house plant. A small a family of uh, krill live inside. That's cute. I'm hoping the uh, depths of the ocean will actually be this uh, wholesome. We ever get to explore them. M M Melitite? Yerota is so pretty, that's why we all worship her. Hello. <laughs> I like this. Karaji has a little seashell beanie. Um, huh, I guess you can come and uh, make yourself at home? <laughs> She's like, why are you in my house? Empty? Oh, I like enclosed spaces, so I crawl inside occasionally. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I can't let anyone sit there. It's for personal use only. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> some of the leaves are all bitten up. Houseplant or the food source? Oh wait, there's a lot of seashells here. I didn't even notice. I didn't even see them. I must be blind. I wonder how many there are. I'm expecting this to be a 20-hour uh, JRPG. Just kidding, I'm pretty sure it's probably like an hour, less than an hour. Uh, I'm all, uh, you found my hiding place. I always come here to calm down. Aw. <laughs> Safe space. Ten, all right. Sardines. That's a lot of sardines. Welcome in. Always room for one more. I wish to become beautiful. I will if only add a tiara. Oh, you have a tiara. Would you please crown me? Sure. Oh, I'm so beautiful. Thank you for granting my wish. You made the sardine very happy. Humans are so generous. Listen to me, this human. Sardines are the most ideal food because they... Oh my god, this is a disguise for reference. <laughs> oh, man. Disgaea 4, complete plus. I believe my name is in the credits for that. <laughs> Probably content moderator or something, I don't know. Anyway, uh, hello there, are you a new student? Uh, welcome to my class. Octopuses may not be as smart as humans, but I hope I can teach you something. Oh, there's a bunch of sardines sitting here, I didn't even realize. Uh, what club are you going to join? Theater is the most fun ever! We can't trade seats, sorry, I'm deaf, I need, so I need to sit here. Oh, I, I know that feel. Cool of Forbes... So, so, what? What? <laughs> I... Uh, I'm not even going to try to read that. I already graduated, but I figured there's no harm in learning even more. Ugh, I wish I had that mentality. Sorry, I just can't sit still. I'm a serial fidgeter. A what? <laughs> Gotta get my degree, uh, and then get a, a good career? Sheesh, this economy? <laughs> I, love <laughs> I love these sardines, they're amazing. I love sitting away from the teacher. I get to doodle so much. I'm kind of scared of this kid next to me. He's always waving his pencil around. I'm learning math. Soon I'll be able to count my whole family. I'm pretty good with wielding a pencil. Wanna see? I'm God! <laughs> I love all the... Uh, these kind of games give me life. It's like... It's like if you're having a bad day, you just play something like this, and uh, you know what? It makes your life feel a lot better. We should go see our friend, by the way. Actually, let me uh, turn in all the uh, seashells.
Wow, you brought me more seashells? I'll put them with the rest. Alright, cool. How many more are there? I'm glad to make a friend who appreciates seashells as much as me. Seashells, seashells, by the sea. I, I'm gonna butcher the name after like 10 more attempts of trying to say it. It's about time, Am. What, who are you, a human? She's Maya, hi Cleo. You brought a human here? Are you mad at me? For making me wait around your place all day while you're out with her? Yes, I'm mad. I better go talk to her. Oh, don't worry, Maya. Cleo's actually really nice. I'm sure she just wants to be your friend, too. Uh-oh. It's bursting with kelp uh, enough that it won't close all the way. What? It looks like a plant, but it's made of plastic waste. An art project, maybe? Oh, that's not good. Hey, a seashell. 13 of them. Oh, there's a 14th one here. I wonder how many there are in the game. It's probably where Anne sleeps. The bedding is somewhat uneven. I like that when you uh, examine the objects in their house, it tells you a lot more about their character. Like, Am is a bit more of a messy character, and uh, her friend Cleo is probably more neat and tidy. Small little details like that are what makes games great. Not that I needed to point that very obvious fact out, but <laughs> I, just, I just think not a lot of games, I don't think enough games do that. Um, they just kind of like, I don't know. They take their own world for granted, it feels like sometimes. But I mean, I don't know, I don't expect every single game to be like a masterpiece. Some things games do right, some things games do wrong. Can I give you more? Is that all of them? Well, I think that was 15, right? Oh, let me save. <laughs> I've been forgetting to save. This is RPG Maker, of course, so... Uh, I guess I should go to Cleo's house, huh? No? Okay. Where would they have gone? Let's see... Oh! And the only reason you'd bring a human here... Yeah, to make friends! Don't lie, you just want to help Eudora. Why can't it be both? You're only using a human for your own selfish gain. It's not selfish, it's for Eudora! Oh no, a human showed- or the human showed up! Won't you call her by her name? I told you, it's Maya. Anyway, I'm not letting either of you reach Adora. Huh? Cleo keeps running away. Is she shy around new friends? Better follow her, Maya. I don't- I want you to meet you, Eudora. Who's Adora? She just must be the queen, right? That's what the other guy was saying. Trench, danger. Oh, there's a part of me that wants to go there. Castle. Alright, I'm gonna save before I go to the trench. I want to see the castle first. Okay, Maya. <laughs> You're in control. Am, you have to take the human back where you found her. It's not like I dragged her here. She's been following me on her own. You lured her here without explaining anything because I thought she could help. What's so bad about that? to sneak on by, maybe they won't notice me. Oh, you literally can sneak on by. Huh? How did you get past me? See on that side, human. I don't get it. Quit being servant, CeeLo. Okay. <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess you just have to sneak around her. She won't let you through. I wonder what this queen wants with us. Decorative coral blocks the way. Oh, hello, who are you? Oh, a human, welcome to my castle. I can't believe the human snuck past me. For the last time, Cleo, her name is Maya. Maya, hmm, is she your friend, M? M? Yep. No, she isn't. You're just using her. I am not. Please, children, why don't you stop ex- Why don't you, you explain everything from the top, hmm? Okay, it all started during my search for a human. Maya was sitting on the beach, so I invited her to swim. That's when you suddenly dragged her underwater. 
I wasn't dragged, I just jumped in. Huh, really? That's what I've been saying all along, if you would just listen, Cleo. Now, now, what happened next? Maya had fun meeting everyone. Uh, then we ran into Cleo and she got mad. Yes, because obviously you must have ulterior motives. So let's hear them. Why did uh, you lead Maya here? Uh, because I heard the humans can dive way deeper than any of us. And that's only true for humans inside of submarines. What? How was I supposed to know? Wait, does that mean getting Eudora's treasure back is impossible after all? I knew it. Oh, Am. Darling little Am. Sending Maya into the trench would have been really dangerous. It's a good thing we stopped you. Just forget it, Am. I'm sorry, I caused a lot of trouble for nothing. So, her treasure is in the trench, and we need to get it back. But first, let's steal all these uh, seashells in her... in her, uh... in her castle. That's the only logical thing to do. I'm missing one. Sorry, Maya, it's true that I brought you to ask a favor, but I really thought humans would be uh, fine going down a trench. It feels I feel like such a dummy. Sorry for asking the impossible. I hope you still be my friend. I'm glad I met you either way. Aw. Maya, I had it all wrong. I should have listened to Anne before, but she's very reckless. I was afraid she'd do something bad. I think she almost asked you to go into the trench. The pressure that is far down too much, it messes with your perception. You wouldn't hurt, Maya. I'm glad we cleared things up beforehand. And Anne is such a sweetheart. I hope you forgive her foolishness. Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to go into that trench and find... Uh, that treasure. Oh, hello. Oh, don't mind me, Simpson. I'm just trimming this the seaweed. Cool. Maya, wait. You're heading home, aren't you? I wanted to apologize. I never, Anne never thinks anything through. She's inconsiderate and impulsive. She's just a good friend, as long as I'm there to rein her in. Okay. Huh? Just okay. If you're upset about how you were treated, you should just say so. Upset? Why? I guess it didn't bother you to be treated like a tool. Honestly, a human like you might be harder to understand than I am. Tomorrow we can start over if you'd like to anyway. Forget about the trench, get some rest, and we'll meet you at the shore. Is this girl, like, emotionless? Okay, so the trench is... over there, right? So maybe I, I have a choice here. I can choose to go in the trench, or uh, go home. But I want to go in the trench. I want to see what happens. I want to I wanna go off the beaten path, and I want to make some decisions, you know? See, let's say this place is... I don't even know where to do a treasure. I'll stay away from now. Aw. Oh. Really? Are you sure? Oh, okay, fine. Whatever. I guess we'll have to just do what the game says. It makes it makes it sound like I'm being kind of a uh, a butt about it. <laughs> the music change? Do these guys have new things to say now that I went to the castle? Oh no, it doesn't seem like it. Hmm. I'm walking here. I'm walking. <laughs> what a funny character. Wow, you brought me more seashells. That's a lot of seashells. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing one seashell. I love the music, it's really interesting. Return to the surface, sure. Maya! You left without saying goodbye. You're not mad at me, are you? No, I thought you didn't need me any there anymore. Didn't need you? Oh, I still want to hang out. But if you're feeling too tired, we can just play again tomorrow. You still want to hang out with me, even though I couldn't help you? Well, yeah, there's still lots to talk about. Like how I showed you my world, but I still don't know anything about yours. I wish I could come up on land and see it myself, but, well... You don't want to see my world. Oh, I do, but I do. Why would you say that? Sorry. Fish people can contact the contract the coronavirus. <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry. Anyway, you must be more tired than I thought. I guess I really ought to let you go now. See you, Maya. See you tomorrow. Bye.
It was so much warm underwater. Why did I come back here? Why couldn't I feel anything before now? Why couldn't I smile with everyone? I should have asked if I could stay. Both Cleo and Am said I should come back tomorrow. Maybe if I try harder to belong, they'll let me stay for good. I can survive up here for that much longer. Save your progress, yes. Okay, Maya, open your eyes! Surprise, it's a welcome party! Welcome party, to celebrate the meeting of our new friend. That's you, Maya. Obviously, uh, Eudora planned it. But why? Because she loves hosting parties? Do humans usually not celebrate things? Not usually celebrate things, sorry. I think Maya just needs to see it herself to understand. Let's go inside! Everyone's waiting to greet you. Please follow us. Some pretty. Wait, how do balloons work underwater? Anyway. The party's upstairs. Come on, come on. Either staircase is fine. They both lead up to the same room. Can I go this way? Maya, right, the stairs are this way. But I want to go this way. <laughs> hey, everyone. Maya's here. Welcome, Maya. It's lovely to see you again. Yay, the party's officially started. Please enjoy yourself. I hope we can get to know each other better. Yeah, all partygoers are in attendance. Come, hey, mission and co-op uh, complete. Oh, a snack table. Come to M. Ugh, Am's always doing whatever she wants. Well, I'll leave you to enjoy the pie, um, uh, party, Maya. I'll be right here, so let me know if you need anything. Maya, let's race to the other side of the hall. All right, I got you. I got this. All my little legs were no match for your fast, Maya. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Yummy! Oh wait, I don't eat plants. There's a lot of food, but uh, I'm not sure which kinds are safe for humans. Maya, have you tried the kelp? Oh, it tastes bad. Too bad for humans. That's the saddest thing I've heard in my life. <laughs> Can't talk. I'm brainstorming while I dance. What if I started a career in event planning? It's nice to see you, Maya. Are you in the mood for a little quiz? Yeah, sure. Great. Let's see if you paid attention to school. What time did you come to class yesterday? I. Uh... It's true that class starts at 8am, but you actually came in after lunch. How many desks are in my classroom? What's an 8? Sorry, 8 is actually the number of sardine students we have this semester. What is the number of family sardines that are scientifically... Correct, very impressive, Maya. Thank you for indulging me by Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having fun. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Ugh, that was like actually taking a test. That's what my grades probably look like. Just 1 out of 3. A 33% on every single exam. Anyway, I'm having flashbacks to college. Anyway, uh... Aw, I'm glad we helped that sardine out. Maya, you found me again. I'm always hiding behind my plants. Oh, all her shells are on display. We've been practicing our dance moves for just for parties like this. Snap. I can't hear the music, but I, sure can, I can sure feel it. Come on, line up and dance with us, Maya. How do I do that? There we go. <laughs> Dance music is blasting with the stereo. It's uncomfortable to stand too close. <laughs> I love watching Dora dance. She's so pretty. I hear the balloons uh, humans use are filled with air instead of water. Huh? You have water balloons too? Man, humans have everything. My idea, would you like to dance? Sure. Oh, how cute. Are you enjoying the festivities? Um, it's nice. Uh, you sound troubled. Was this all too much? Uh, no, um, why would you do all this for a stranger? Oh, hmm, hmm, I see. Look around you, Maya. Isn't it so lively? These halls were just, uh, were empty just yesterday. This party is for all our sakes, as much as it is for yours. Really? We sincerely wanted to welcome you in hopes that we'll all become good friends. If anything, we should be th we should thank you for giving us a reason to assemble. But I didn't do anything. I couldn't help you with your treasure either. Oh, it was nothing special, just an old pendant. I didn't realize its clouds had broken, and it drifted down, down into the drench. Oh, it's a shame, but life goes on. Am is so sweet for always trying to do nice things for others. Although her reasoning was silly, I'm glad uh, she brought you here. Thank you for dancing with Maya. It was a pleasure. I won't take up any more time. Please enjoy your party to the heart's content. Hi, Maya. Glad you made it. You're like a guest of honor, so it'd be a bummer if you didn't show. By the way, I helped with the party decor. I love the seashells you collected for me. It's like putting your generosity on display. Not everyone can see how kind you are. 
I feel pretty epic, I have to say. Maya, do you want to play a guessing game with me? Sure. My eldest sister is dancing somewhere in this room. Let's see if you can find her. Hmm. I'm the responsible middle child. Why, yes, I am the eldest sister. Did my elegant beauty give it away? <laughs> You're a good guesser, Maya. Sorry, I don't have a prize for you, but it was a fun game, wasn't it? How many siblings do you have? I have an older sister. Hello, Ma. Oh, well, I guess Maya has siblings. They weren't asking me. Anyway, I just want to be Maya. Gosh dang it. Uh, tell me what gardens are like on the surface, too. Alright, so... Oh, we didn't talk to our friend Am over here. Sardines have such huge families. I wish I had a sister. I'm surprised you found the right sardine. You did better than what I would have. You don't know what to do? Well, it's your party, so everyone here will be happy if you at least say hi to them. Okay, did I say hi to everyone? I think I did. I just love the atmosphere of good parties. It's, I'm just making sure I talk to everyone. I talked to the guy hiding over there too. No, no quizzes. <laughs> I don't wanna. No more tests. <laughs> Please. Undersea gardening. The balloons are filled with water, so that's why they're floating. Wait, does that even make sense? I don't know how buoyancy works. Oh, you're not hungry. More for me. <laughs> well, I did talk to everyone, so... I have a feeling I missed one shell somewhere. So she lost a pendant. Uh, I don't want to leave early. I thought so. Parties aren't your thing, are they? I'm taking a break. You know, Maya. You don't have to. If you don't want parties anymore, you have to tell them how you feel. That way, they can surprise you with something you actually like next time. No one's ever done this much for me. I don't want to be ungrateful. Ungrateful. Parties are fun for them. They assume everyone feels that way. But if you keep letting them think that then until they realize it was hurting you all along, then they'll be sad too. Everyone loses. Uh, or sorry to start lecturing you, especially when you came here to be alone. I'm going back upstairs. Take all the time you need. I am the queen now. Ha <laughs> I actually like the little detail that you can hear the music ever so slightly. I shouldn't leave without telling Cleo. Do they say different things now? Are you ready to end it? Yeah, let's end the party. Thank you for helping clear everyone out, Cleo. I'm glad to be of service. That party was a huge success. Oh, I ate too much. And that's because you barely left the, sn the snack table. Better get her her. I better get her home. Cleo, thank you for hosting, U Udor. It was a great party. I want to nap forever and ever and ever. It looks like you'll need some assistance. I appreciate that. Wait, Maya, are you going to be okay going home on your own? I'm okay. Uh, where's my bed? Can I just leave on the table? Don't sleep here. We're going. We're going. <laughs> I hope we'll visit again tomorrow, Maya. Bye. Tomorrow. Right. I don't belong here. I haven't been able to earn my place yet. But maybe if I find her pendant. Ah. Oh, actually, that sound in the background was, I think, like an, a water sound. I don't know if it was like the actual like drum and bass or something. Anyway, we should uh, go get that pendant now in the depths of the ocean. That's like the last, well, space in the depths of the, like, the deepest, darkest trenches of the ocean are like, once you enter the trench, you cannot turn back. Proceed.
What was that sound? Okay, hello. Can I talk to you? <laughs> okay, well, everything's uh, creepy. How stupid. Can't you see you're not needed here? Wait, are those desks? Maya's so creepy. <laughs> oh, I see. She's getting bullied at school. Ew, she's doing it again. Maya won't stop staring. What's your wrong? I'm gonna cry. No one cares, you know. You deserve it. All of it. Adora's pendant. Did you think if they, you did this, they would let you stay? Did you think you would be praised? I... Do you think you could fit in a place like that? In a place where everyone is happy? Don't say it. Except for you? You just ruin it for everyone. I know. I was <laughs> so sad. Hey, hey, ha, 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 Oh. Did I get a bad ending? Cleo's was... Idora, I understand that this is serious, but... I know it's harsh, but what choice do we have? The fact that she was willing to throw her life away for over a piece of jewelry. Uh, she may hurt herself again if we allow her to remain in our company. No, please. Do we really have to make it so she can't come back? Please, you can't. I don't know, Adora has a point. It may be for the best to send her home for good. I don't want to go back there. We only just became friends. Forgive me, Mai. Mai, I'm sorry, Mai. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Cleo. I only wanted a place near well. That's why I thought if I... It's so cold up here. It's hard to breathe. Please. It's so sad. Uh... I can't go back. Am? No, it's me. Cleo. Listen, I thought it was over and... Leaving you alone like that is too cool. I don't care if Eudora disagrees. Does that mean I can come back? On one condition, you can't just plunge into danger not caring what happens to yourself. That kind of thing doesn't make anyone happy. I'm so sorry. Oh, ah, stop crying. <laughs> I didn't think it mattered, but I just But I the one that was you. Okay, sorry, I know that's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> I don't know how to handle outbursts like this, dude, me neither. But it's gonna be okay. You really are nice, Cleo. Told you so. What are you doing here? You followed me? Yeah, Cleo is best girl, I have to say. Uh, well, yeah, I saw you headed toward the surface and thought, uh, I want to see Maria Maya too. Damn. Anyway, I came here to bring you back, as long as you promise not to do anything so reckless ever again. Yeah, Maya, Eudora was crying. She thought she was your fault that you almost died. You were crying too, Am. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I did something so stupid. Oh, we forgive you. We just want you to take care of yourself, Maya. I'll try. I'll do my best. Now come back in the water so I can help you breathe again. No, I'll do it this time. Aw, how cute. Am Cleo, do you think I really have a place in your world? What are you talking about, Mai? Maya, you already have a place. As our friend? Heck yeah. Power of friendship. Drowning, drowning. By Nano Nani. That was actually really cute. I, I loved it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't really. I don't have like. I just sometimes I just play cute games. That's all. No, no, no expert commentary or anything like that. Just uh, yeah. <laughs> that was cute. It was cute as heck. And uh, yeah, I wonder. I wonder if uh, there's like a bad ending or something. If you like are just negative the entire time, like. You had like a lot of choice, like maybe if you didn't talk to anyone or if you uh, didn't like, uh, like if you just disagreed with them or whatever, because there were choices. So I wonder if there's like a bad ending. Um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, that was a cute game. So yeah, uh, that's uh, Drowning Drowning by Nano Nami. Maybe if uh, you, I think I missed one shell because I got 29 out of 30. So if you guys want to play it yourself, maybe find that last shell or find a different ending if there is one. Then uh, yeah, feel free to 
download the game. It's completely free, by the way. Uh, you can uh, download the game in the link down in the description below. Uh, it leads to the itch page. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe and all that uh, jazz. And uh, yeah, take care, everyone, and I'll uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.